This is a very quick safety review of the EL01 power strip or power adapter with USB chargers. I'm going to show its construction and a major flaw that makes this unsafe to use. So, it comes in the box, small manual, power cable which I've already disconnected. The power cable itself is actually fine. This advertises it can handle 10 amps. And the power cable portion can indeed actually handle 10 amps. It's about 16 AWG, which can handle about 10 amps of power. It also says it has USB ports that can handle 2.1 amps, but there's three. So is that total or separate? Well, it actually means total. If you take out the screws and take it apart, you've got basic, I assume, brass connectors for the plugs. You've got an on-off switch. You've got the USB charger board. USB charger board has a specific chip that can handle 2.4 amps. You can see it in between the capacitor and transformer right there. It's also the rectifier right there. MT3612, that's the one that can do 2.4 amps total. So these three USB ports can handle 2.4 amps total. So small things are fine, but a battery bank, a tablet, or a modern smartphone if you plug in two, you might already overload it. I am not thrilled by the spark separation between the AC section up here and the DC section here, but it, there is a gap that exists. So there are less safe chargers to use. The one really sketchy thing though is this wire, which I have cut, that goes between the power switch and one of the uh, live and neutral plugs, I assume this cuts the live, one would hope, um, for the outlets. Everything else in here is about 16 AWG, which can carry 10 to 12 amps, which fits the 10 amps advertised. But if you look at the size of this, this is only about 0.6 or 0.7 millimeters in diameter. This can carry three amps. So these can only actually carry about three amps, which times 120 volts is 360 watts. So you can plug in one laptop charger. You could plug in a few smartphone chargers, but if you plug in say a large speaker or a surround sound system, or God forbid a space heater or hair dryer, this one wire will begin getting very smoky and is liable to burn or at the least worst, just melt into two pieces, and hopefully not in a way that sparks. So that way, at least this would just stop working. Obviously though, that's not safe. This advertises 10 amps 100, at 125 volts for 1,250 watts. This can actually handle three amps or 360-ish watts. So if you have one of these, I recommend getting rid of it if you're DIY savvy, you can salvage the power cord since it can indeed carry 10 amps. And the USB board is an adequate charger if you are aware that the three ports can only carry 2.4 amps total and you're aware of the amps consumed by your electronics. But if you're ordering this from AliExpress, Shein, Timu, Wish.com, whatever, uh, just don't. At least the switch is clicky. And you can watch it operate if you have it open. Oh, that's not great. It's, it doesn't want to separate depending on how it's held. That's not a good design either. Well, that just makes it worse and worse. There you go. Not a great idea. Please don't buy this.